In this video, we're going to look at a perpendicularity measurement taken with the V9 height gauge. When taking a perpendicularity measurement, there's a few things to consider. First, you're going to want to ensure that your probe carriage is tightened down by using the nut on the face of the carriage. Secondly, there are two different drives for this machine, one being a manual drive and two being a motorized drive. To engage the motorized drive, you're going to displace the handle. The two buttons on the back of the handle will allow you to drive the carriage up or down. With the perpendicularity measurement, it's best to use the motorized carriage. Let's put ourselves into perpendicularity mode by hitting the perpendicularity icon, which looks like an upside down T. We will engage our motorized carriage. We will then engage our part. At this point, we can start the carriage movement, and we will hit the play button. This is starting to record the measurement. We will let it take its measurement, and when we feel like we've taken enough measurements, we will then stop it. When the measurements are complete, we can then look at the values. First, you have the distance traveled. Second, you have the perpendicularity. Third, you have the angle. And fourth is the rectangularity value. If you want to see the rectangularity value in a graphical representation, you can hit the button next to the stop button, showing you the distance from the min and the max, giving you your overall rectangularity. This information can be exported to a computer for further review.